let's just get greasy. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go ahead and install our cam seal. Introduce some cap. Just a tad bit. And then tighten it up. After I'm done. Perfect. Now that we got our cans torqued down, uh, let's go ahead and uh, proceed to putting on all the accessories, installing all the accessories, all the accessory pulleys, uh, the timing belt, the upper timing case, and the lower timing case. This goes Pretty much you want to make sure that these knock notches here are lined up at 12 on the intake cam and then five on the exhaust cam. So use these notches here. I don't know if you can see them to, uh, so this notch here on your intake cam needs to be at 12 o'clock position. And so it's, it's, and then your exhaust cam needs to be on the five o'clock position. Let's get the cam sprockets installed. Um, so 
Uh, how you want to do it is this notch here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, this little notch, uh, it's supposed to be aligned with this line on the timing case, respectively, um, the uh, exhaust sprocket is supposed to do the same. However, uh, when you torque down the cams, it's uh, pretty hard to get them to line up just accurately. And what will happen is when you install the sprocket, the notch itself will tend to want to move forward a little bit only because the cams get ready to go on its first uh, stroke. So don't be alarmed. Just go ahead and install them like that. And when you, when you uh, assemble the timing chain, you're gonna wanna go a 30 degree kind of advance as far as uh, kind of like a pre, uh, what would you say? Like it's just, the engine is just about to begin its cycle. So it's gonna be forward a little bit by some degrees. You won't be able to, to get it perfect in there. I mean, you could try to turn it, but the valves are just gonna keep opening. So it's just gonna jump back. So yeah. And so this one is gonna wanna jump back a little bit. See the notches. One notch right here. So here it is. So you got the notch on the sprocket, lining up with the little notch on the timing case itself on the intake and on the exhaust. You got one notch right here on the sprocket, lining up with the notch on the intake. I'm sorry, on the uh, timing case. So that's how we verify that the top end is in time. 34 and a torque wrench. It's at 34, so here we go. So you wanna use a wrench and make sure you hold it nice and tight and try not to turn it. It's a 14. Okay, here we go. And we're torquing at 34 foot pounds. There we go, 34 right there. It's okay if it turns a little bit, just uh, don't let it turn too much because you might run the risk of bending the valve. This is why when I set the timing initially, I kind of went like 30 degrees off advance right here. So that way my pistons would be just after top dead center. So this is why I like to um, set the pistons halfway just for this reason when I'm tightening the cams that I don't run the risk of turning the camshaft, opening the valve and having the valve collide with the piston. So that if you're watching in the previous videos, you'd have noticed that I left my pistons just after top dead center, which would be about this much down into the bore compared to being at top dead center where I'm now tightening and turning valves and, you know, so that's why I do that. So our intake is at 34. Yeah, so the little, in here, there's a, like a little uh, region where you can uh, hold it with a socket. I mean, a wrench. Verify Mac 34 there. Here's the other one. And at 34. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, recheck my timing. So I know that my notch here needs to be lined up. That's lined up, so I'm good there. This one's off a little bit. I'm gonna set this one back a little. So I know I'm not bending any valves because once again, my pistons are all the way down and I can, I can see them actually through here. So I know that I'm Gucci. So now that I know I'm done torquing 
all my cams. My cams are set and ready. My timing is set on the top end. Let's go ahead and uh, reset my timing on the bottom end. Okay, now that you got your timing marks verified, once again, let's run over it. You got your cam, your intake cam sprocket. It's uh, the notch here is lined up to the notch on the upper timing case. Your exhaust cam sprocket notch here is lined up to the notch on the upper timing case as well. As well as the notches itself on the cam shafts, not the sprocket, they're all clocked to their respective zones, okay? Your crank sprocket, the notch there is lined up to the notch on the oil pan. Now, we got our timing marks verified. Let's go ahead and uh, install the timing belt. Now, this is how you uh, install the belt in a right side up position. First thing you want to do, this is just how I do it. I, uh, I line it up with the crank, just like this. And be sure that nothing moves. Put it around the tensioner and literally slide it over. Just like that, it's on there, nothing too crazy. Okay, so now that you've verified that your marks are still in position, nothing has been rotated, go ahead and uh, grab yourself a big screwdriver, a flathead preferably, a 14 millimeter deep socket, and set your torque wrench to 27 foot pounds. So you're gonna gently Pry the tensioner forward and torque the bolt. Yeah, I can run it down a little bit. Run it down a little bit there. So you're going to be going to 27 foot pounds. Just like that, you're in time. Now you wanna go ahead and verify that the engine rotates smoothly and that after one full rotation, the timing marks are still aligned. So let's just consult the manual on that. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna install our crank bolts and we're gonna turn the motor over uh, a total of two times um, per request of the manual to verify that our marks are still aligned with the index marks on the upper turning case. So here we go. So we're gonna give it Two full rotations. So see my marks now down the top. That's one. Coming back around to the second. And just about, just about, boom. Now let's verify our marks after rotation. Still aligned there on our intake sprocket. Still aligned on our exhaust sprocket. Still aligned on our cam sprocket. So that's how you uh, properly set the timing on a Toyota MR2 uh, 4A GE motor. As usual, if you like the content, Please continue to like my videos, subscribe to my videos, and don't be afraid to hit me up, ask me anything you want. I'm not stingy with the info. Stay greasy, yo. You know what time it is. Nice.